I'm sorry, but you must have been living under a rock if you missed all of the talk this year about AI laptops and AI ready PCs, but what exactly does that even mean? Like for example, why does the Asus Swift 14 AI here have, well, AI in its name, and is that something you should worry about? Well, it's a complicated topic. You'd think the answer to what makes a PC an AI PC is pretty simple. Can it run models locally and does it have some kind of AI acceleration? And by that logic, most modern PCs do have that, given how most modern graphics cards will have some form of AI cores baked right onto the GPU. However, it gets a lot more complicated and that is where devices like this come in, what's dubbed a real AI PC. And what makes it real? Well, the whims of Microsoft, of course, because by their very specific AIPC requirements, an IPC must have an MPU, or a neuro processing unit, which could be its own chip, but it's in practice part of the larger CPU and GPU package on most devices like, say, this. They have everything integrated into a single chip on the motherboard. This is a hard requirement according to Microsoft, despite graphics cards already doing what MPUs do much better. So a PC starring an RTX 1490 could not count as an AI PC, despite it way overperforming the MPUs on the market right now. While something like this with just the cheapest CPU, GPU and MPU combo could be. Yeah. And in fact, NVIDIA has been really kind of butting heads with Microsoft about this, showing exactly how much more power you can get out of a graphics card versus these shoehorned in MPUs. Now there are a couple of reasons for it, and one of the things that it's supposed to encourage is the democratization of AI, meaning that even small form factor, cheaper devices could run local AI models, which could be classed as a good thing. And as you all know, Nvidia pretty much has a monopoly when it comes to the graphics card space, and Nvidia doesn't really like sharing that much. So of course there's a fear that their special tensor cores will be restricted to only Nvidia approved use cases. I mean, just look at the fact that DLSS, their AI enhanced game upscaler, is still only restricted to Nvidia hardware. And there's a lot more examples like that. So hopes are that when it just comes right on the CPU, people will be able to avoid that. Not only that, but of course, MPUs are a lot more power efficient and can also fit on a lot of smaller machines. That is why the term AAPC right now pretty much just means, well, a laptop. Though we are starting to get actual CPUs for desktops with MPUs on them. They are still not really used that much, and that is because another thing to make a PC officially an AI PC in the eyes of Microsoft is a co-pilot button right there on the keyboard. A pretty dumb limitation, especially seeing how Windows now installs with co-pilot right there on your taskbar, but that is just Microsoft for you. But okay, what on earth does all of that mean in a practical sense? What do you actually get out of something that proclaims itself to be an AI PC? Well, quite a few things. Mostly, it comes down to the fact that you'll be able to use quite a few local models, while things like, for example, Copilot will still always use the internet, as it's just a lot more efficient to use external servers, and it needs to access the internet's plethora of information for its results anyway. Other things, like, for example, several of the new AI features introduced in Paint will just run locally on the MPU, as well as things like AI-powered filters for your camera and whatnot. Again, annoyingly, because of the ways Microsoft classifies all of this stuff, a lot of those Windows AI features, you actually won't be able to use unless you have an MPU. Meaning that unless you really care about all of those AI features, you don't need to pay too much attention if your PC that you're picking up is AI certified or not. Unless you care about those one or two cool things from Windows and Microsoft themselves. A lot of your favorite third-party apps, like for example, Photoshop or editing programs like DaVinci Resolve will just use your GPU anyway for any kind of AI related tasks. But I wanna hear from you. What do you think about all of this and the current AI PC? Thing that's going on. Let me know down in the comments below and maybe check out our Patreon as well. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vronyak, Bardish Voker, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, and Level Up. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.